everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and today I'm sharing with you a hibiscus lemonade recipe. So if you're interested, stay tuned. The ingredients that you'll need for this hibiscus lemonade are some dried hibiscus flowers, some lemons, sugar, and water. Um, a lemon squeezer will be good and some cheese cloth. Okay, so these are my dry hibiscus. I picked them up from the grocery store. Um, you can find them. I picked mine up from Food for Less. I have my lemon squeezer and this here cheesecloth I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So I'll show you how I'll use that later. So first I'm going to take my lemons and just cut them in half so that I can squeeze them and get all the juice out. And in my lemonade, I'm using four lemons. Now, depending on the size of your pitcher, you may have to add one more or less. Depends on you. But remember, we're putting the hibiscus in, and it has a really nice flavor that you want to taste as well. The hibiscus has a nice, rich, like cranberry pomegranate taste. Very delicious. My husband just knew I had cranberry or pomegranate in it, and I didn't. Once I have all my lemons squeezed, I'm going to pour them into my pitcher and I'm going to strain them because I did get some seeds in my lemon juice. I'm going to take out the seeds and leave, put the pulp back in because I do want the pulp in my hibiscus lemonade. Next, I'm going to add two cups of sugar. Now, of course, feel free to add less if you're sugar conscious, but I'm not. So I'm adding two cups of sugar. After you finish adding your sugar, add some cold water and stir it in until your um, sugar starts to dissolve a little bit. So now I'm just going to move my pitcher to the side and I'm going to prepare my cheesecloth for my hibiscus flowers. So this um, here cheesecloth, it's like doubled. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to leave it doubled to try to um, keep as much of the dry hibiscus flowers out of my lemonade. And I'm going to cut this into just a little square here. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put the hibiscus flowers in here and it'll keep them from falling all into my lemonade and having everybody drink flowers and stuff. And now I'm going to cut a little strip because I'm going to use this strip to tie up my cheesecloth. And I'm just going to fold the rest of it up and put it back in the plastic bag. You can put it back in a Ziploc bag. And this can be used for so many other things that we're, you know, cooking around the house to strain things and it's food safe. So this is my little square here and these are my hibiscus flowers. Like I said, I dropped my little label from my hibiscus flower in my mason jar so I'll know what it is. So I'm just using like a fourth a cup of the dried hibiscus flowers and I'm gonna pour it onto my cheesecloth and I'm gonna take each corner and pull them to the center and I'm going to use my cheesecloth little strip that I created here and tie it up. So now that I have that secured, I'm going to drop my hibiscus pouch inside my lemonade. And I'm just pushing it down here, holding it so it can absorb all the lemonade. Help it absorb a little bit. You can even see it begin to change colors a little and then I'm gonna begin to stir it and you all see that it's changing colors okay so after I have stirred it now I'm gonna take this and place it in the refrigerator for one hour 
Now, after it has been in the refrigerator for one hour, I'm going to take it out and stir it real well, get it all stirred up, and I'm going to re remove my hibiscus pouch and then serve my hibiscus lemonade. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you get to try it either this Mother's Day weekend or an upcoming holiday. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.